Hi, this is Helen with the Better Half Block. Thanks for joining me. Today, I wanna to talk to you about the different planners that are playing a big part in my day-to-day -day life, especially when it comes to personal stuff. When I was back at home, working from home, I was using this Hobonichi Weeks for almost everything, for work and for personal. And as soon as I started grabbing everything and going to the actual office to work on a daily basis, I realized that this was not going to work just because my personal stuff was not getting done. Meanwhile, all my work stuff was getting done. So I needed to put attention to personal matters because as you know, we have four children and you know, a big household full of things to do on a daily basis. I decided I need to split the two type of planning, the work planning and the personal. And so I've soon migrated from using just one planner through the whole summer into using the work planner and then this planner. Then I realized, wow, I have my Stylogy B6 and I have been using it successfully. And this is my B6 cover right here. So let me take these out since we're gonna flip it open. So this is just like a messy planning. And if you remember beginning journey of all of the planner search and going through the different planners last year around this time, you'll remember that I was using my A5 Stylogy as kind of like my scratch paper, just brain dump and everything in between. And I remember that this played a big portion in my life. And so I soon just grabbed my Stylogy B6 that I have been kind of leaving behind during the summer and picking it back up to do its job. So let's go right into it. So starting from Hobonichi, how do I use this planner along with my B6 to get things done at my house? This is what I do. So when I go to work, I grab this planner. I don't bring this to work. Typically it stays at home. I did bring it to work a couple of times. I realized it's kind of redundant to do so because first of all, I don't look at it because I don't have the time at work. Um, I'm so busy working. I don't have time to check out all the little, you know, nitty gritty things that I have to get done at home. And so this stays at home. I grab this and I go to work. And in between work time, I go in here quickly to see, hey, what do I have to get done this week? And what is going on this month? So if I have a business trip coming up and we're talking about it at the office, I quickly go in here and I realize, okay, what are all the different uh, dates I have set out for different things? So for example, uh, this Miami trip, when we were talking about this in a meeting, I had to go in here real quick and look, okay, what, what do I have going on on that weekend? Do I have time to go here? And so then I did. And so that's how I booked this trip. And so that's why this comes with me to the office. So from here, I do all my planning here. And this is kind of like my junk brain dump type of planning. And so I have everything here. And then from here, I used to use the back pages as kind of like my, my daily log over here and what I need to get done. But this was not doing it for me just because I don't know what it is. Do you guys have this too? If you do answer in the comments down below with the Hobonichi paper, I always have this feeling that I need to keep it really clean. If I get really messy, I get kind of thrown off. <laughs> That's so ridiculous. So from here, I take my daily planning like this, and I will go like on this day, I would plan out the day. Look at Sunday. So this is Sunday. So I was very productive on Sunday. And then I went and got the booster shot at 5 p.m. with my husband. And then on Monday, I was shut down. I completely was knocked out for 24 hours plus. In the month of October, I started using two monthly spreads. And the reason why I started doing that really is because I needed a calendar where I can see everything at a glance. 
I know I have it here and it's almost a copy of exactly what I have in the monthly over here in my Hobonichi. Now, why did I have to do that? Because sometimes I am just working at home with this planner, not working, working, but like just at home looking through my test with just this planner. Cause I don't need to be grabbing two planners around the house, right? If that makes sense. And so then I kind of mimic what I've got going on in the Hobonichi weeks and I put it into here. And so that way it has all of my monthly important dates here. It's not detailed, but it's here. So I just definitely know what big stuff are ha happening that I cannot miss. Then I soon realized I needed a second monthly calendar. And the reason why is because I wanted to do some more stuff where I wanted to list out items that I wanted to do in my life, like what's important to me, like exercise, taking care of myself. Like this month, I wanted to really cook at home and stop eating out. Cause last month, if you remember my previous videos, we were doing a lot of dine outs. And so, I wanted to cook at home. And so I wanted to track those things. I wanted to declutter more. I wanted to really focus in on decluttering more before the end of the year. And um, 5 a.m. start, I wanted to sleep early. I get good sleep and then wake up early so that I make and create time for myself. And then um, laundry. Laundry has been crazy around here lately. I don't know why we're just like packing up laundry. And so I realized I need to declutter and do laundry at the same time. And so these are things that really matter to me and not so necessarily for the family. Does that make sense? So this is more of a family planner, um, if you will. And then this is more for me and what matters to me and what's going to give me peace at the end of the month. So then I also listed out, okay, what else do I really, really want to do that I needed to be creating time for that I did not have time for because I was so busy with the family and work was my YouTube. So I really enjoy making YouTube videos. And so for a while, as you guys know, you know, I was just making one video a month or sometimes I would have to skip the month because I was so busy. But so then I went back and I started planning out my videos here as well. Then starts the week. The week is messy and that is what I'm allowing my myself to do in the B6 is to be really messy and just dump everything on here that I want to get. It could be as small of a task as to do laundry. Like in my Hobonichi weeks for me to write down do laundry every single day that's kind of redundant right but here I can just dump it. I can do laundry, I can write down ideas for YouTube channel, my wish list, my planner ideas, and all the different things in between. So tedious and to the point where it's kind of like I'm holding my brain onto paper because that's what I needed since I've been going back to the office. A lot of things that I was doing on a regular basis at home was not getting done. And so let's just fit, flip through it real quick. Uh, cleaning goals and every week my spread's going to be a little bit different until I kind of get it. So these are my meals, um, some of the things that I needed to do. I was doodling in here. Uh, I have my wish list. I have everything that I wanted to do on this Sunday. Look at how nitty gritty it is like film YouTube, tidy family room, check Dropbox for something order Amazon fresh. This is like how tedious it is. And then I also write down what I cooked on that day. Monday, look at how messy it is. Everything that has happened is in here. It's recorded. Tuesday, Wednesday, Salad GB6. What did I really want to uh, do in my Salad GB6? I was brainstorming. And then I had another weekly calendar, a little bit different here. I wanted to include cleaning, declutter, laundry, fitness tracker, meals, and then all the different things that I wanted to get done on each particular day. And then I soon realized, okay, that's not my style of planning because I don't like to be kind of um, restricted as to what day I need to do certain tasks. There's a lot of things that I need to get done that are running lists and they don't necessarily have to get done on a certain day, it just needs to get done. So if I feel like finishing everything on Monday, I can. If I want to finish on Sunday, I can. And so I didn't like this style of planning for myself particularly. And then 
um, planners in my wish list and journals for 2022. Well, currently my 2021, what I was doing, I was kind of reviewing with myself, what am I doing with all these planners and journals, all these notebooks? Am I using it correctly? Is it doing something for me or am I doing something for them? And so I wanted to check myself with that. At the same time, as you know, I have been wanting to consolidate, consolidate, consolidate without having hundreds of notebooks throughout the day, but to have a couple of pieces that I really, really enjoy and I love for what it's doing for me, which is productivity. This is another brainstorming. I wrote down my goals on the left side, the different goals that are really, really important to me. And then I try to list out the routines. Like, how do I want to do this? What kind of yoga classes are at what time that I can join throughout the week? What do I want to do as far as decluttering? Like, how do I want to motivate myself to declutter? Am I going to use a planner for this? Or am I going to time myself? I don't know. So I was just kind of brainstorming on this side here. And then here, again, I was going through and checking myself because I didn't finish what I started out to do over here with, you know, kind of reviewing my 2021 planners uh, right here. And so then I went back to that mindset and I said, okay, what do I really, really want to use in 2022 in order to do so? What worked for me in this year? So that's what I was doing there. And then I had... Um, so these are some different spreads that I've been trying. So I wanted it to look a little cleaner for a minute. And so I was trying to do the time blocking and trying to see my schedule. And then I was trying to list out my, my things to do on the right side. It didn't really work for me because the reason why, again, I'm using B6Dology on top of my Hobonichi Weeks is because I want the messiness. And not that I want the messiness, but I want to allow myself to be less messy here and less careful to write carefully and be happy about the aesthetics. It really doesn't matter for me. So at this point on this week, I realized, okay, I'm going to do some printouts. I'm going to print out some stuff that I see online, purchase some Etsy products and print them out. Well, I checked out Etsy and really i wanted to kind of customize for myself a little bit more and so i went into my design software and i started designing away and i designed kind of what i wanted to capture in my weekly planning weekly spread if you will so i have monday through sunday here and i have all the cleaning tasks on the right side of each day and then i have kind of the schedule on the left side and then I have my priorities, like a, a must-do running list here. And then waiting on stuff here. My meal planning in depth here. And then all the shopping lists. Now I'm not writing them down, obviously, because I'm, I'm starting to use Tasty app. And it's an amazing app. You pick your, you choose your um, recipes, your meals for the week, and then you send it into the cart and you place the order through Walmart and you just go and pick up the grocery. And so I have been doing Amazon Fresh, but now I'm doing Walmart since this week, my spending. So this is also, I designed it. It's a weekly spend for this week. And so I know, remember you guys, I was using my budget planner, my Hoban, Hobonichi Weeks, my budget planner with the pink color uh, for this spending. This is all my credit card spending. And so this is where I would jot down everything. And then I, I would highlight it as I paid off. So for example, on this day, I paid off these two credit cards for the previous week spending. And this is what I paid. And I listed out everything in categories. I don't care about the vendors at this point. I write it down here, the vendors, right? Walmart, 5575, what was it for? In parentheses is grocery. So for the previous week, I had listed out all the vendors and all the spending in my Hobonichi Weeks, the other uh, budget planner. But I decided, how can I consolidate? So I'm planning on consolidating into the B6 for all of that as well. So I put it here and then I would pay it off on the following week like this. So here's another day, Wednesday, again, two pages. And then on the right, 
I did two pages, not necessarily because I have so many tasks that I need two pages to spill over to, but because I wanted to use the right side for free writing, brain dumping, anything. And some days I don't even use it. And that's okay too, because I know I have it. So if I'm on the phone with a vendor or something, I'm working on something and I needed uh, somewhere to really quickly jot down notes, messily, it's here. You know, I don't need to like be like, where do I write? Do I have to write in these nice blank pages? Do I use one of the old pages to just jot down because it will definitely get lost in here but i can do that and then i can actually notate it and then um, put it in my index over here in the front remember i have that index so the important pages are indexed here and i always label my pages along the way so that's what i've been doing here gift ideas see gift ideas for christmas and then i have on Saturday again I have an empty page that's okay um, and then this is Sunday following week weekly and it finishes off the month of October here I have blocked out for November for here let me show you what else I've got going on in my B6 so here I'm doing my monthly Bible reading here and then from that, from that, I'm not going to show you everything, but I am also writing down my prayer right underneath each of the verses. Wow, I had a lot to pray for. <laughs> Three pages. Um, and then here again, it's Corinthians. I read the that and then I jot down my prayer. And so every day I've been doing that. I'm saving one page per day, so 31 pages in the month of October. So this is the rest of the pages that I've got going on for Bible reading, and scripture reading, and prayers. Here in the month of November, what I'm going to do now is do the two-month calendar. First calendar with all the schedules here, or what's important to me calendar over here. And then it'll probably go straight into the Bible study here. So all my scripture reading plan is going to go here and then I'll probably start doing the pages here. And so I'll block out 30 pages after that because it's gonna take 30 days, right? To do the scripture reading, for example, like let's say that's 30 pages and then I'll start the week. So I've got the, the monthly, the Bible, and then this for weekly planning, one page or one, two page. Right, remember it was the meal planner, it was the weekly uh, planner with schedules, and then it will be my spending page here, and then what I paid off here from last week's spending, and then it'll start the day, the daily. So I'll have Monday, two pages, Tuesday, two pages, so on and so forth. So that's how I'm using it. In the back here, it is the Sunday sermon. So our Sunday service, Here's all the list of it. This is what the pastor was reading. And then I would jot that down so I could reference it later. And then I would write down the notes from the sermon. So I have blocked off for the rest of October and November and hopefully December. I could squeeze into here so I could finish this book in December. Who knows? But I'm not strict with it because I've ordered like five or six more stalogies to just get me ready for the future months. So that's how I've been using my Stalogy along with my Hobonichi Weeks. If you have any questions for me, let me know questions down below in my comments and have a good week. Bye.